Hello, hello, beautiful Pisces. Welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reen. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. I'm going to start you off on your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance, and then I will flow into your romantic love life reading. Um, I have to open the window a little bit, get some air in, and the dog started barking, so I apologize if you hear them. Um, not my dogs, the neighbor's dogs. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I will timestamp in your in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. We're going to start off with Rumi. Um, I have the need to say for you that life has a really interesting way of flipping. It feels, when I say flipping, it's like this change that feels like a completely 360. It's like someone flipping, flipping the pancake, flipping the eggs, flipping something, <laughs> changing it on its side, changing changing the direction, just, just flipping. Um, wow, you have, uh, what is this? I surge on the uprising wave of love and all I can see is this tunnel. You can actually see you right here and this little energy in the center looks like a pearl, some kind of ball of energy. Um, it's number five. See how it's number five? Change. And it's interesting to me because it feels like you are on this side of something. Now you're on the other side of it. Do you see what I'm saying? Life has an interesting way of flipping. Let me get one more from Rumi and see what's going on here. And then we'll get into your tarot spread. Divine Mother Manifest number 15. You have here another five. Um, this is six. This is uh, 15, which is six. And this is five, which is 11. So you do have something new here that is beginning, um, that is being birthed here with Divine Mother Manifest, that is being created, co-created for you. Um, with you um, also protected there is this divine protection here that's coming through I'm also getting a mother figure that could be a grandmother and aunt your mother someone who has passed they're not on the living earth any longer um, and they're protecting you okay they're always watching over you um, you also have here the six which is harmony so wherever it is that life is flipping Okay, life has a very inter interesting way of flipping wherever it is that you are going to next or feeling the changes of. Um, it is all in harmony. It is all for balance. Okay. Um, and it is all for movement and progression forward. Um, I've said this for a while on my channel that you, you have the... Um, always the ability to change your wish to change your mind to to flow in what you want to do and i see that that is what this card is telling me here something changed within you or something has changed around you or some kind of circumstance or environment has changed um, and you're being protected throughout this change you're also being supported throughout this change You could also be seeing numbers 155 or 515. I'm also getting um, is it the month of May? Something about May 15th. Yeah, May 15th and at the bottom of the deck is number 22. Yeah, something about May of this year. January, February, March. March, April, May, yeah, five, uh, May 15th of 2022 of this year. I don't know why they're, they're I'm seeing a, a specific date that I have to relay. This could be when this change occurs or something just very significant happens on this date for some of you, it may not be for all of you, but it just needed to get that out there for someone. Okay, let's get into the Tarot of Dreams and see what else is going on here. You have here the Ten of Cups is your overall energy. Mm, 
Yeah, you know what's so interesting? Look, Temperance came out. Look at this card. Looks like Temperance Energy too, with the two uh, portals here, right? I know this. This looks like a like a tunnel, right? But because of the rainbow bridge, it looks like a tunnel. Okay, you're going from one end. You're flipping to another. Okay, so um, this change is being heard. Something is being heard. Okay, you're being heard. Your desires are being heard. Your, um, your, this is what it feels like with the Ten of Cups. It feels like a desire, a certain desire or a particular feeling. Um, it's been heard. It's been heard by this Divine Mother. Um, this could be, um, you know, an intergalactic in intelligence. This could be a cosmic being. Um, whoever it is that you pray to. Um, you you talk with this could be a um, an ancestor for someone again I was feeling this mother figure for some of you um, but it's been heard by this being okay it's been heard by the universe okay it's been heard temperance um, that's coming out a lot like um, someone may not have been feeling like they've been heard or um, desires are not being heard it's because you needed to hear them yourself first you needed to hear and understand what it is that your desires were before they could be created so um that is something that i'm seeing here if you also are having trouble with other people hearing you it's because it's not it's not it's actually a reflection of you hearing yourself are you actually hearing yourself are you actually hearing your desires? Are you actually hearing what it is that you want? Um, are you hearing yourself? So um, that's a direct reflection um, inwards into your inner system. Okay. So here are your inner desires is a message overall. This is a long-winded way of saying that. Sorry. Um, yeah here are your inner desires queen of swords here absolutely just being really clear being very direct with what it is that you want with what your desires are um interesting there's the way these cards came out and the intensity that i was feeling um yeah wow wow you do have here the four of cups you have here the seven of pentacles you have here the ten of wands and the wheel of fortune yeah there's some kind of intensity and that's what i'm getting here with the ten of wands the way that it came out and it was flipped um it was flipped this way and I couldn't see it immediately. I felt the way that it came out, it was, it was so intense. There's some kind of intensity that you are going to be facing or facing right now. And I feel like you're matching that intensity here as the Queen of Swords. Um, you're not backing down. This could be some kind of um, financial challenge for some of you. Um, this could be a challenge at work here with the Seven of Pentacles um, and the Ten of Wands of trying to get your work done or trying to get something done, but it isn't quite moving in the direction that you want it to move. It just feels more burdensome to move in that path or move in that direction when all the time um, and work is being invested into that very thing. It's just not bringing you the right satisfaction. For some of you, this is work-related. Um, uh, please take it how it applies to you. Um, I'm seeing that um, for others of you, this is just um, you investing in yourself, you investing in the right thing for you, in the right um, uh, environment, in the right energy, you putting your energy in the right baskets. I keep hearing in the right basket. I'm putting it in the right basket now. Um, I feel like there's um, like growth here. There is growth. Wherever it is that you are, there is growth. But it feels like you've reached the glass ceiling um, and there is not um, like you created something here. Whatever environment that you are in right now or if you if you're in the process of leaving it or exiting that situation, um, you've created growth in that particular environment, but you've come to the recognition here with the Four of Cups, some kind of recognition that it is no longer going to grow or um, you just, you reached a point where um, it's, it's more, excuse me, more strenuous than it is um, 
uh, progressive. And so here, my, my throat chakra completely closed and then opened back up. That's the queen of swords. You need to listen to your own inner, inner desires and start speaking them. Because like I said, the universe is listening to you. The universe is hearing you. Okay, so speak it. The universe will hear you. But you need to hear it your, to yourself first. You need to tell yourself first. And that is where the change and the flip is going to happen. See the flip? Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. Life has a very interesting way of flipping. Temperance in the Wheel of Fortune confirming that energy. And we're talking about this at 10 minutes, which is completion. Okay, so something is coming to a close. Okay. You're going to get moved. Like you're, you're even going to feel an energy shift. You're moving closer to your desires. Okay, what it is that you really want to do. Who it is that you really are. Um, you're aligned to something different or you are moving yourself. You're aligning yourself to what it is that you want. You are creating this change. Remember that? Okay, you have that power. Queen of Coins. Yeah, this is this for this group. This is very. Um, you have here two mother energies here with the Divine Mother and the Queen of Coins. Um, some of you, this is a mother influence. Some of you, um, there are certain. Um, I don't know. I the word rules just came into my mind's eye. There are certain rules that you felt that you had to follow, or certain expectations that you had to follow from a mother figure. Um, making someone else proud, um, doing what it is that they wanted you to do, and not following your own tune or your own vibration and your own inner desires. Okay, and um, I see this uh, Queen of Coins looking directly at the Wheel of Fortune. Um, be careful of this energy because I see that someone is like looking at your fortune or someone is trying to control your fortune. Someone is trying to control your destiny or trying to print, imprint something on your destiny. This is an imprinting energy right here. This could be even an ancestor of yours. This could be someone that, um, that is around you. Again, it's some kind of influence, influencing your destiny, influencing your path. They're looking right at it. This is different. That This is you. This is a completely different energy. Um, that's interesting. I don't know who this is for you guys. You, ne you need to figure it out um, because there's so many of you. I feel like... So there is this like divine galactic energy that's protecting you. Okay, this divine mother manifest that is protecting you. And then so this is like this overseeing energy, this overarching over soul energy here of this galactic being of this um, spirit, uh, this guide. Okay, ancestor. Okay. Um, and then there's someone here. Um, it, I do feel like it's related to someone's bloodline. It's related. There's some kind of relation. Um, this could be by blood. Um, I'm seeing that here with temperance. Like you're connected somehow. This could even be like, um, you know, when they say like we're connected, uh, we're connected by blood, but it's like um, a bond that you create through friendship or work or um, it's, it, it was someone really close to you is something that I'm getting here. Um, for some of you, this could be your immediate mother. Okay, please take it how it resonates. But someone is, someone is looking at your, looking at your fortune. Someone is trying to control it. And I feel like you're here putting a stop to that. Like, no, you're finally going to voice what it is that you really want to do. Maybe you fought this or maybe you have, um, Maybe you're healing this wound for some of you. This was something that happened uh, as you were growing up and, and uh, it, it's the mentality and the mindset of making this person proud or doing what it is that they want you to do, but you're no longer um, doing that. So this could have been when you were a child for some of you, okay? Um, Wow. 
Six of Wands. Yeah, that's a victory. That's a victory. Whatever, okay, whatever the universe has heard from you, your inner desires that, are, that have been heard, you're going to feel extremely uh, victorious. Yeah, you're going to be very, very happy. Very happy. There's the King of Swords. This is your energy. You're coming across um, in this air energy, okay? Because you're thinking freely. You are in this higher consciousness energy. Um, you're also thinking logical and you're thinking for yourself. Instead of having someone else think for you or um, like, I don't know. It's such a strange energy. The way that they're looking at your fortune, the way you're lo they're trying to imprint on your destiny. Look at the King of Coins again here. That's interesting. Definitely someone around your home. Someone is close to your finances as well. Um, maybe this is someone that you gave money to or someone that needs money or someone that you're responsible for. Um, yeah, five of coins. Some of you, you're no longer going to be giving money to someone or supporting someone. Um, you have the king of cups, you have the magician, and you have the three of cups. Yeah, some of you, this is a friend, a family member, someone close to you. They could be... Um, I don't, it's interesting, um, <sighs> wow, Pisces, um, okay, take this how this, uh, this is applied, I'm gonna, I'm going to speak on different scenarios, okay, the ones that are coming in my mind's eye, so just bear with me, someone here is like a friend or a family member, okay, um that may be manipulating you emotionally okay this is this is with the king of cups and the magician here and the three of cups this is emotional man manipulation here um um i see them playing a victim role here with the five of with the five of wands and they're draining you financially um but i see that you're going to really balance yourself remember i said this is about harmony this is about balance and look you have the king and the queen of wands which is masculine and feminine energy and harmony and imbalance you're completely um balanced within your mental state like you're thinking extremely clearly and you're thinking harmoniously and imbalanced um so i don't see that you're going to be giving to this person anymore um some of you it's not money related but they're they're an emotional ma manipulator um they're an emotional manipulator uh that's a that's a tough energy um You hear the Seven of Cups and the Two High Priests. To be honest, I did not expect this reading um, to come out the way that it is. Uh, you have here Faith. You have here the High Priestess. Yeah, I'm, I just heard like stick to what you know. Like this person is going to try to confuse you or they have tried to confuse you in the past. But I just heard like stick to, stick to your gut, stick to your intuition, stick to what you know. Um, and stick to what you know about this person or the faces that they have shown to you with something that I'm getting here with the masks and the three of cups. Um, because I've, I'm, I'm noticing that they've shown you different masks. Um, this is also, this could be someone emotion, like manipulating something at work, manipulating something at work. Okay. And it's like getting to you emotionally. It's getting to you personally um it's it's uh it's rattling you okay um for others of you if this is a wound from your childhood excuse me if this is a wound from your childhood i see that you're releasing the victim mentality okay i see that you're becoming more emotionally stable um, and that you're creating a stronger foundation for yourself, okay? So you're releasing the, the victim consciousness here with the Five of Pentacles, okay? Because that's something that has been burden, burdening you or um, where you are seeing that you constantly reach um, the, the glass ceiling. So you're pushing through the victim mentality. You're pushing through that. And there is a new door. There's a new window here that you see in your logical mind. There's a new door that's entering in your logical mind and you're pushing through that victim mentality. Um, and it'll, um, it'll shine 
Um, that's interesting. You have these two energies with the with the it looks like this glowing ball. I, I mentioned that it's like a glowing ball of energy. I mentioned that when we talked about this card here in the very beginning, and you have these two imageries that are this glowing ball of energy. Um This is like an aha moment. This feels like an epiphany. This feels like something that you have broken out of in your mind um, and you are completely um, illuminated. Like you've illuminated your mind. You've illuminated yourself. And um, it's healing because it's it's focused. This ball of energy, like this, where, where you have opened your your mental state you know coming out of that victim mentality because you're definitely coming out of that victim consciousness energy even if you are aware or unaware that you have been doing it or aware or unaware that this energy still resides in you um in the way that it does or has affected you in the way that it has been in your um immediate reality but once you break through that you have this clarity and it's it's really shining on the ace of cups here the cup in the middle and you have here the king of cups so your emotions are going to be illuminated um traumatic emotions traumatic emotions are like water okay um they have an interesting way of finding where the crack is and getting out and i feel like that you're noticing that traumatic emotion here with the magician you're noticing the the traumatic emotion within within you and you're healing that okay you're healing that here there is someone close to you that will help you in this healing process and i feel like it's this divine mother this intergalactic energy this this guy this ancestor um is helping you okay because this is a wound that has been in the generation for quite some time this victim mentality or even if some of you this victim consciousness is, is directly tied to um your money your finances okay um I see you completely breaking free from that okay life has a very interesting way of, of flipping so keep the faith and trust what you know okay trust what you know all right trust what you know you're stronger than you're letting on as well right we talked about that yesterday in the mandala um this is what i have this is what i have for your spiritual growth um so i'm going to get into your love reading now just give me a minute just to clear this energy okay all right beautiful beautiful Pisces okay all right Pisces and their love life. Oh, okay. Pisces and their love life. One more shuffle. Pisces and their love life. Pisces and their love life. Okay, I'm just going to take the ones that flipped up. Okay. Okay, you have your education at the bottom, 35, which is number 8. You have 49 here. And 22, intention. This is number 13. Um, I do feel like uh, someone's intentions are going to be known towards you. You're going to definitely find them out here with education. It's going to be known. You're going to be, someone's going to tell you their intentions is an energy that I'm getting here. Um, with this talisman energy, I, I feel like you are walking a new path 
in your romantic love life i feel like you're taking a new direction i feel like you feel really lucky in this new direction um i don't i'm getting this energy of like you're my lucky charm i don't know why i'm hearing that but either you're someone's lucky charm or um you view someone as their lucky charm or they are your lucky charm i don't know why i'm getting this energy here with the with the talisman someone is also has a really strong irish background is something that i'm picking up on um like that's coming through really uh forward uh for someone out there um yeah they're gonna they're gonna tell you how how you make how you make them feel yeah look at this with the um seven of cups and the ace of wands someone's intentions for you are going to be known their intentions are definitely going to be known i do see them communicating okay that's cute this is lovely you do have here a death so i mentioned 13 i don't know if i mentioned transformation but you actually have here 13 13 this is uh transformation twice could be dealing with the scorpio or someone has a uh, heavy scorpio in their energy you do have here the eight of pentacles someone at work someone um maybe at school but i'm getting a lot of learning like learning about each other you're going to learn more about this person. You're going to learn more about their intentions. Um, death is an interesting energy here. As your overall energy. This is transformation because I'm seeing 1313 with this talisman. You do have here the seven of swords. I'm getting that someone uh, ended a recent relationship. Someone left. Is something that I'm seeing here with seven of swords and death five of swords there you are again queen of swords queen of swords the lovers and the queen of cups Okay, you're going to find out the truth of someone's... You're going to find out the truth. Okay, someone's true intentions. You have here the emperor. Judgment. Yeah, something is going to come, come forward. You have here the five of cups. oh i see i see um you're gonna get yeah there's that communication with the eight of wands you're going to get very uh lucky in love i'm hearing lucky in love lucky in love there's gonna okay your entire theme of your reading is life has an interesting way of flipping yeah look at that see the wheel of fortune again <gasps> yeah ten of wands again just like your spiritual growth you hear the hanged man and the queen of pentacles four of wands underneath that page of wands the tower two of pentacles in the world okay <sighs> all right so i'm seeing someone i'm seeing someone new and i'm seeing someone old um I want to talk about the new person for a quick second because I, I feel like they're not here yet, but they will be. When you meet them, you're going to know their intentions right away, okay? You're going to feel extremely lucky or someone is going to be uh, feeling like they're lucky to have met you, okay? Um, it's something that I keep I keep feeling that energy, okay? There's even um, like a dragon or some kind of serpent that's wrapped around this person's arm, um someone has a dragon tattoo on their arm specifically a dragon on their arm it could be their right arm or left any arm i'm seeing that um something about dragons here 
I don't know what that's about, but you're gonna know their you're gonna know their intentions. Regardless overall energy, you're going to be finding out intentions from people in your romantic circle, okay? In your romantic love life, everything about intentions is going to come out, okay? And this is going to help transform your love life. This is going to help put you um, and realign you, okay? Um, you are dealing with someone here with the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Um, I see that you turned your back on a situation. Well, I see someone like exiting a relationship, like someone exited a relationship. They may not have told you why they exited or what their intentions were about being in the relationship in the first place here with the emperor that was underneath the seven of swords i feel like someone was trying to control and manipulate the situation and that manipulation that emotional manipulation also came out in your spiritual growth something about emotional manipulation and that's something here that i'm getting as well like someone trying to control and manipulate um you or manipulate can just control the, the connection i'm just getting someone who's very controlling but they exited they exited um they self-sabotage this uh they um <laughs> they're they wanted it to be one way but it's like you found out or you picked up on that energy and you turned your back really quickly and it, i'm getting this energy of like something ended before it began with death here as your overall energy with someone from the recent past this could be someone that you're currently dealing with as well so please use your discernment of timelines um i'm seeing that whatever it is that they tried to do in the background didn't really stay in the background for long if this is something that they're doing it's not going to stay in the background for long i feel like you're going to find out um right away what it is that they did this could be someone from your past here with the Five of Cups. You're going to know about it really soon if you don't know yet. Um, some of you already found out about it and some of you are hung up a little bit in just releasing it. But I see that you are letting go here with the Queen of Swords. Like, you know exactly what your desires are and something did not something did not feed that desire or assist in having that fulfillment and the, the needs that you wanted and so i see that you are going to be cutting the past out okay you're going to be releasing it you're not you're no longer going to be hung on it okay here with the um hanged man and the ten of wands okay you're not going to be hung up on something anymore is what i'm seeing here and so this is really going to move you on a new path here with this talisman and you're gonna start i just feel like you're gonna get really lucky in love like i just i i keep feeling that it's immediately the energy that i felt i feel like you're gonna meet someone that feels really lucky to have you or you're gonna feel lucky to have them maybe vice versa like i'm just lucky to have you um you're gonna know again this is all about intentions you're gonna find out the intention of this past person or current person and then you're gonna find out the intention of the person coming towards you um there's lots of communications around lovers okay look at this lots of communication with lovers okay um past lovers current lovers and new lovers there's just lots of communication of intentions even if they're not communicating it to you verbally i feel like you know intuitively what the intentions are something is going to be extremely clear to you that wasn't clear before some of you this is verbal communication okay this is wands these are actions this is this is solid communication of something that was unknown to you here with the high priestess but again some of you are so highly intuitive here with the high priestess and the queen of wands you don't need a conversation to know the truth okay um life has an interesting way of flipping and i feel like you don't really know exactly where it's flipping or changing to but you are completely aligned to it and you are completely transformed towards it too okay and that's that that's the theme for you that's the theme so this new person coming in um, with the high priestess here um, and the wheel of fortune again wheel of fortune is destiny luck right remember how I said look at this the queen of pentacles again with the wheel of fortune when we did that in the previous previous deck let me show you it came this is twice it's the same energy I'm telling you when energy is energy it doesn't lie look at this 
This came out in your spiritual world. Look at this Queen of Pentacles looking at your fortune. Look at this Queen of Pentacles looking at your destiny. Same energy here. But this person, whoever is in this Queen of Pentacles energy, this is what you are no longer hung up on and you're releasing you're releasing this queen of pentacles energy this could be this could be a mother figure this could be um a friend um again i'm like you're fine like someone someone was emotionally manipulating you or doing something that manipulated you um they tried to like imprint something on your fortune they tried to like change your destiny they tried to change your course but spirits like no way uh and you're even here saying uh F no, like, um, no one's gonna do that. No one's gonna do that. You're protected, remember. Um, but because this person is has done that or tried to do that, they're gonna get their karma, right? So, um, I feel like you're just letting this person go. I don't... This person is coming out again. This could be a romantic person for you that you, because they tried to control their feelings or they tried to control the connection. They tried to, they inadvertently, is that the right word? Um, because they tried to control the connection, the pace of the connection, um, they tried to control it. Maybe they even tried to control you. Maybe you were in a controlling or gaslighting or narcissistic situation. Um, they also inadvertently controlled your destiny. I hope I'm using the right word in the right sentence. Do you, do you, do you know where I'm getting at though? And I feel like this person is um, leaving your life for that purpose because no one does that shit. No one controls your destiny. No one controls that even when they um, are unaware that they're doing that. Because they tried to control the situation. They tried to control you in this connection. Which in turn. Was in a way trying to control your destiny. So that person had to go. So anyways you're meeting a new person. Um, there's not much on this new person just yet. Uh, because the four of wands is in the reverse the page of wands is here there is something new coming in for you but it's not yet it's not yet the tower needs to the tower will come um, and the world here the closure the closure you're gonna be single for a little bit not too long though here with the nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the knight of um, Pentacles coming to you I don't see you being single for too long but this needs to clear out first so the tower will come, the changes will, will occur, life has an interesting way of flipping. Trust that and trust yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust what you know. We also said that in the spiritual growth. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it resonated. I love you guys. Until next time.